<laughs> Praise the Lord! Brother Hype Man here, Nerd for the Word, a.k.a. Bro Blue Junior, formerly known as the Wretched Knuckle, my brothers and sisters. We turn our Bibles to Psalms chapter 80. We'll be looking at verse 1, 2, and 3. And it reads, Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, thou that leadest Joseph like a flock. Thou that dwells between the cherubim, shine forth. Before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh, stir up thy strength and come and save us. Turn us again, O God, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admonition, to the application, to the distribution of this great word taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. Of my brothers, this is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we see in Psalms chapter 80, which is a song written by an Old Testament gospel grace songwriter, Old Testament gospel grace preacher, probably more than likely, and an Old Testament gospel grace believer, where he, he, he opens up in, in the first verse and he says, to give ear, and then a capital S H E P H E R D, and that, that, that capital S shepherd, that's a, that, that, that's that's our Lord and Savior, soon to come in King Jesus Christ, because our Lord and Savior, soon to come in King Jesus Christ, is a good shepherd. Our Lord and Savior, soon to come in King Jesus Christ, is 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 a generous shepherd. Our Lord and Savior, soon to come in King Jesus Christ, is a gracious shepherd. Our Lord and Savior, soon to come in King Jesus Christ, is a, a, a glorious shepherd. Our Lord and Savior, soon to come in King Jesus Christ, is a, is a godly shepherd. And so it says, give ear, she uh, uh, shepherd, capital S-H-E-P-H-E-R-D. Uh, 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 and then he mentions how he dwells in between the two cherubims. Now, what, 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 what this old, old Testament gospel grace songwriter, Old Testament gospel grace believer is talking about when he's saying uh, 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 where, where he dwells in between the two cherubims, he's talking about the, the Ark of the Covenant. And if you look at Exodus chapter 25, verse 22, it, it talk about this is where uh, our Abba Father, this is where our Lord and Savior, soon to come in Jesus Christ, will meet with his people. And this is a place where, where the high priest uh, 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 sprinkles the blood. And, meet, and, and, and that's the meeting place between, with, with, with God's people and with God in, in between the cherubims. And we see that in Exodus chapter uh, 25 verse 22, the mean place where uh, at the ark of God, where, 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 where God's people and God meet. And then he goes on to say in this beautiful song that, uh, 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 that to stir up your strength, God, stir up your strength, Lord, the capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, Jehovah God, the covenant keeping God who keeps his covenant with his people because he loves his people. And, and, and it goes, stir up your strength, uh, 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 stir up your, your, your agape love, and, and, and save us. And then, it, and then it goes on to say, and, 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 and shine your face, God. And when God shines his face, we shall be saved. When our Lord and Savior and soon coming King Jesus Christ shines his face, we shall be saved. And how, how's God to his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is going to shave his people when his face shines? God, to his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ's face shines through redemption. We see and when he redeems us from our sins. We see in, 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 in Galatians chapter 3, where the apostle Paul writes, for Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law so that the blessings of Abraham could come on to us. 
Wait, 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 and on the way, that, uh, that, that, that God's face shines to us on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is, 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 is through reconciliation. We see in, 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 in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, where we see the Apostle Paul write how, 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 how God, through his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, reconciled us to himself. And how God, our Abba Father, who's in Christ, he reconciled the world to him. They're not imputing uh, their sins, not imputing their iniquities, not imputing their transgressions, not imputing their mistakes, not imputing their failures. And so uh, God's face shines through redemption. God's face shines through reconciliation. And, 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 and God's face shine through, 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 through restoration. We see in Joel chapter 2, verse 25, the Old Testament gospel grace preacher, the, 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 the prophet Joel, he says in Joel chapter 2, verse 25, that he's going to restore to the believer of our Lord and Savior and soon coming King Jesus Christ all that the kingdom of darkness has stolen. He's going to much more restore all that the kingdom of darkness stole from the, uh, from the believer of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Joel chapter 2, verse 25. And so we, we see God's face shine through, 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 through redemption. God's face shine through reconciliation. God's face shine through restoration. God's face is going to shine through His Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, through the resurrection. And, and we see our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, say in, in John chapter 11, He says, I am the resurrection. I am the life. He that believeth me, though he were dead, shall he live. And he that liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Do you believe this? And so the, the God's face shines through redemption. God's face shines through, through, through reconciliation. God's face shines through restoration. God's face shines through the resurrection of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God's face shines through, 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 uh, through remembrance. We see in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, the Apostle Paul recalls what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said at the, at the communion table. He says, take and eat. This is my body, which was broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Remembrance that you're going to be healed. You're going to be healed physically. You're going to be healed emotionally. You're going to be healed mentally. You're going to be healed psychologically. Do this in remembrance of me. And God's face shines. And then he goes on to say uh, 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 in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, then he goes on to say, take, this is the cup of the New Testament of my, in my blood, which was shed for you. As often as you drink this and know that all your sins are forgiven, past, present, and future, do this in remembrance of me, and that makes God's face shine, and that saved you, and, 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 and when that makes God's face shine, God is glorified. Hey, I don't want to shake that. And when you do this in remembrance of him, when you do this because he redeemed you, you do this because he reconciled you, you do this because he, he, he restored you, you do this because he is the resurrection of the Son of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and you remember that. You are edified. <laughs> and praise the Lord, the kingdom of darkness is nullified. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his curse you. May the Lord give you his peace. And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up in inheritance to those who will sanctify in the precious name of his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, save it. And out of him that is able, keep you from falling and present you forth in the presence of his glory, both glory, mercy, dominion, power, both now forevermore. <laughs> Praise the Lord! <laughs>